population of honeybees around the world are continuing to fall, and many scientists fear losing the little guys will lead to massive problems. The U.S. Department of Agriculture found a 29% drop in beehives last year. Scientists are calling for help to avoid what some say could be a bee crisis. Well, let's go right to San Diego and the founder and president of Global Forest Science, Dr. Reese Halter. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Welcome to Southern California. Yeah, it's much sunnier than it is up here. Well, first of all, before we talk about why the bee populations are declining, why should we care about the bee populations declining? Well, quite simply, the, the bees provide uh, every third bite on our dinner plate comes from the humble, incomparable honeybee and and also honey and medicine and I'm wearing cotton today and most of our uh, fellow citizens are and and medicines so these guys are very important so in our people food may chain. not understand really these aren't just little guys that'll sting you out there on the tennis court these guys have serious uh, implications and influence on the actual chain of events around our environment Absolutely. And, and you know, Mother Nature chose them about 100 million years ago to be the main emissary to, to move uh, pollen and cross-pollinate all her plants uh, or most of her plants on planet Earth. And we're talking about 235,000 flowering plants. And, you know, there's 80,000 kinds of trees and about 79,300 rely on pollinators. So okay, the, so the, the humble department, honeybee. The Department of Agriculture saying there's a 29% drop. What's happening here? What are we? What's the cause? Well, there there is no one smoking gun. We've got a perfect storm uh, that's occurred here. We have heavy, heavy pesticides and insecticides and miticides and fungicides. We have varroa mites. We have Israeli paralysis viruses, we have electromagnetic radiation, and we have climate change, and they have all collided here. So what are you um, saying is the solution? I mean, what can you do about things like this? Well, what we are asking everybody to do this spring is to consider planting blue and yellow native flowers in large blocks. Whether you live in an apartment, get a, a, a pot, uh, put it on your balcony at home in your yard, plant these big blocks of blue and yellow. The bees need that nectar, you see. We're also asking people to take a, a bowl of water in the morning, put it out, uh, bring it in at night, replenish it. The bees need water water to consider buying organics uh, you are what you eat you don't want to be eating these poisons and of course support your local honeybee uh, you support your local uh, uh, honey producer because they need our help and this really goes to an environmental issue I mean you're really saying that this is a larger picture of how people live their lives Absolutely it is, and you know, we're very concerned. Hundreds of millions of honeybees have died in Europe from the poisons and the pesticides, and you know, they're so sophisticated today that they're getting in the plant, uh, the poisons that is, they're neurotoxins, and they're systemic, they're moving around, and when the plant makes its pollen, you see the bee eats the pollen for its protein to make its young, uh, it, that the, this pollen has poison in it and it's all throughout the system and if the bees are dying they are likened to the canary in the coal mine here so we have to take note and we've got to make changes all right dr reese walter we appreciate your insight and thanks so much for being with us R bright and early there in san diego thank you very much for having me good morning well we are seeing new pictures this morning from a deadly